Hello and welcome everyone. So I'll be explaining you uh, the recent Code Forces 690 62 different divisors. So in this problem, so we're actually given an integer d, and you and we have to find out the smallest positive integer a, such that a has at least four divisors, and difference between any two divisors of A is at least D. Okay, so so this line is actually very important here. They are saying that any two divisors difference, which means if any number has a divisor called A, B, C, D, blah, 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 okay, then any of the, any of the numbers uh, we, we have to check all possible uh, all possible I mean n square uh, possibilities uh, and try to find out what is the if there is any uh, difference which is less than D I mean less than the value or not or greater than the value or not so uh, you have to be careful about that so actually the general approach would be that Look, we have got what we will be focusing on. Instead of focusing on this, we'll be focusing on the first line. What is what it's saying is that A has at least four divisors, and we have to find out the smallest positive integer A. So if A has to be the smallest positive integer, let's say that okay. At we know that at least there will be one divisor which is going to be one right always there going to be one divisor which is one so this is fixed and let's say i have another fixed value which is a let's assume that now what we have to do we we are say that difference between any of the two divisors it's going to be at least d and uh, the total number of divisor will be at least four right at least four divisors but uh, we will make sure that we will only get four divisor which is gonna give give us the minimum one right and uh, so we can uh, like boil down this problem to this part so I've got four divisors I know what is my first divisor which is always one I know my last let's assume which is a now I have to figure out what is the middle two one right let's assume that one is X and one is Y and what we need to make sure here we need to make sure this, this that this this difference is at least what at least D of course it's gonna be at least D so if this has to be at least d so if it is at least d this that means that this x will definitely be greater than d right because if it is less than d right if it i mean greater than or equal to d sorry uh sorry greater than d i'm sorry it's going to be greater than d okay because if it uh, if it does not uh, fulfill this, then it's not gonna be possible to make proper a. So what we have to do here, we have to find out such x which is greater than uh, or equal to one plus d. Does that make sense? We have to figure out such x which is greater than or equal to one plus d. Okay, which means their difference will be at least D. So that does make sense. Now, what could be the most uh, uh, effective approach here? Of course, X has to be prime number. Now, why it's going to be prime number? Because if it's not a prime number, let's say if it's some number like 6, like which is not prime, then it's not possible because it will definitely, this this value would definitely have some this divisor would definitely have some divisor also okay so that does make sense because if I throw any composite number which is not a prime number right then it might have it it will have some other divisors which may cause problems 
and which may cause like uh, uh, making the actual value so th that's exactly that's why it's gonna be prime number and that prime number is gonna help us to find out the minimum value because prime number does not have any divisors apart from the number itself and one we all know that right so this X this number X will definitely be prime number and and also this Y will also will will try to make same as same thing like X we we're gonna be trying to make this Y as also a prime number and what could be the difference and what has to be the difference between X and Y also at least D so and this number Y so for this number Y how are we gonna be finding out Y after we're gonna after we find out X we will try to find out Y how uh, the from the prime numbers okay from the fr prime numbers list we will try to find out what is the prime number which is greater than x and also uh, this difference between x and y is at least d does that make sense absolutely and fine finally what will be the number a now i have x as a prime number i have y as a prime number okay and their difference is also at least d now a calculation of a is pretty easy because you want to make this number from this number only right so that does make sense if i do an lcm of these two prime numbers it will definitely give me a number which will only have divisors left which are what only these three numbers does that make sense uh, let me clarify it once again um, let's say 1 X Y and a right now wh what I said I will try to do the um, LCM operation to calculate a why am I gonna be doing it so uh, what's gonna be the operation of the LCM of these three values definitely X times Y because it's there they are prime numbers right so their LCM is gonna be X times Y why am I doing this because by doing this I am making sure that this number will have only divisors which are available with this number will have divisors which are actually this and nothing else no number is divisor apart from this four right I'm making sure that by why by how by LCM the the left uh, uh, three values like 1 X and Y so that's how I'm gonna be checking out a and this is gonna be the minimum value uh, because uh, this uh, th this has to be the minimum uh, possible positive integer so <clears throat> so that does make sense now let's take you to the code one code part is pretty solid you will understand that now what we did here we did a sieve operations now what sieve operation does is up to some number let's say we're taking 10 to the power 5 we are taking an n log log n operation and pre-calculating which are the prime numbers and then we are just adding those prime numbers here in a vector now if you don't know about uh, like sieve operations you may google on it it's a very famous uh, sieve arrestiosius algorithm you might want to check it out and uh, with the help of this we can find out uh, how many prime numbers and the prime numbers collections up to some value up to some size like n here n is 10 to the power 5 and we just did that right and also the fun part is this prime numbers are already sorted order so we can do any binary search to find out quickly because we're given a test case right so also it doesn't actually like matter maybe because uh, like oh yeah it does matter okay so uh, this sort of uh, so we have what initially we will always have prime numbers up to 10 to the power 5 and they will be sorted order order right so and then what we were going to be doing is like taking T and then taking D and first 
what we said. We are going to be calculating the first prime number, which is going to be 1 plus d, because their difference, just take it out, their difference is at least d, right? So we're going to be, the solved function is going to return 1 plus d, this number is going to return, the solved function is going to return whether we can get this number or greater than that, but that would be the minimum possible prime number, right? That will be my x, and after I found my x, I will try to find out my y, which is going to be at least x plus d. And we're going to be doing the same thing here, um, doing the like uh, binary search, just finding out the uh, lower bound that we could get. And then finally, after we found out and figured out uh, x and y, and then we're going to be just calculating x times y, which is going to be the LCM value, right? And which is going to give me the minimum possible positive integer a. And this is the part where I am doing like the lower bound operation. Okay? Lower bound, uh, lower bound operation. If it exists or if it does not exist, I'm going to be checking out the like uh, uh, what is the what is the minimum possible value which is greater than x and also the difference is at least d now this is the part here l and r checking the mid whether it's greater than or equal to value then i'm just pushing here r equal to mid otherwise l is equal to mid so i hope you made you understand this was a pretty easy problem although i could not solve it in the contest time i don't know what just happened to me i got tle I totally messed up. Anyway, I hope I made you guys understand that's what matters, right? Understanding the problem, that matters the most. So, um, whether you do it, uh, okay. So I hope you made you, so I hope I made you understand. So let's, uh, till next time, goodbye. Okay.